Andrea Williams. Is it not the duty of the church to admonish the civil government for abusing the public health crisis to introduce without parliamentary scrutiny access to do-it-yourself abortion, meaning lack of clinical care for often vulnerable and scared mothers and death to tens of thousands of babies, easily more than the death toll by COVID, more than 50,000 by this method, and facing an overall figure of more than 200,000 abortions this year alone, nine and a half million since the passing of the act. Tens of thousands of abortions in this COVID pandemic. Andrea, thank you very much for your question. We are aware of just how sensitive an ethical issue this is, and we have been assured by the government that this is a temporary expedient because women are unable to see their healthcare provider or have been on many occasions. Um, if this situation is allowed to continue after the present circumstances are over, we will certainly be making our position extremely clear. And uh, really the position is quite simply this, on the one hand, principled opposition to abortion generally, but on the other hand, offering care, support and compassion to all women regardless of the choices they make about this. And that remains where we stand and we're very clear to the government about it. Mr. Lamming. Bishop, has the House of Bishops in fact considered the issue or asked the MPA or any other group for a briefing report on the issues raised by the decision of the Secretary of State for Health and Social Care to allow home DIY abortions? And bearing in mind your answer to the last supplementary question, has it done so in the light of the fact that it appears that this is not just intended to be a temporary measure, but the consultation is taking place on making the provision for home abortion permanent? Um, <clears throat> to my knowledge, we haven't uh, discussed this as a House of Bishops and um, um, I'm interested by what you're saying about it becoming a permanent feature. That is something we will definitely oppose. 